up? All right. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. All right. What is up, everybody? Blind Metal Gamer along with Denver Queen here. Tonight is the 10th episode of The Blind Side where we're going to be uh, paying tribute to the late, great Howard Finkel who passed away this past Thursday at the age of 69. His uh, cause of death is not yet been determined. Um, I Denver looked Queen... on the web and I found right. out that he was born in 1950. Yes, he was. So I think it's it could have been seventy this year, but well, he was going to be seventy, but he he, he didn't make it. He died at sixty nine. Uh, okay. Yeah, he died at sixty nine. Uh, mm-hmm. you know, uh, what the you know? So basically, he was the longest employee of WWE. Would you like to elaborate on that? He was also the guy that did all the announcements, and he was the ring dude. Yes, he was the ring announcer, yeah. and he would, you know, I mean, he worked there from 1975 to 2016, and he would always go, if a title changed hands, and the new Ooh. WWE champion or whatever it was, but he had that voice, that booming good radio voice that really lent his that that credibility and quality mm. to his product uh wouldn't you agree i have to agree although i haven't really seen too many wrestling i thought i heard him on several ads for like wwe <clears throat> smackdown or something i'm not sure if that was him yeah oh yeah, yeah. Mm. uh maybe back in like the early 2000s. 90s maybe but what yeah the mm. not uh in the night he was there in the 80s and 90s um, but you know, <coughs> he was the longest WWE employee that they had ever had. He was one of their first employees. Wow. Oh yeah. Um, very epic stuff. And you know, with the passing of Howard Finkel, I mean, for me as a wrestling fan, I was like, Oh God, you know, he's dead. <laughs> Let's see. Last year, uh, earlier this year, uh, Rocky Johnson passed oh, away. And now Howard no. Finkel. Yeah, Rocky Johnson died like uh, back in like earlier this mm. year. <clears throat> then Howard died. Mm. Um. So it's like I remember. You probably don't. You might remember this. You may not. Uh. Do you know uh, Harvey or Howard Finkel did uh, compete a couple times in the ring? Hmm. Did you read about that? I- didn't know he did that but all i know is that he was more famous for that voice that everybody loves oh yeah yeah. i mean i remember like for wrestlemania's Mm. when they brought the hall of fame inductions back Mm. you might you can just look this up on youtube and if anybody has not uh heard his voice just look it up on youtube and you will be just amazed and astonished at this man's voice and his of uh, vocal prowess of what he does to these ring announcements. Um, to me, I would say he was the Gordon Songley of ring announcers. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Um, um, he kind of oh, yeah. reminds me of, there was another news announcer, and I don't even remember his name, but he, he had, in the God knows when, 90s. <clears throat> and yeah. he died. I'm trying to Mm. Who was it? If I could remember who it was, mm. we could uh, really get in there and just have a good time and figure this mm. out. But I think the guy, uh, well, the guy yeah, sounded he, like this. I can kind of do an impression of him. Let's see if you remember who he was. I'm trying to. He went like this. He was like, right. from NBC News, this is today. Uh, I'm trying to think. And this was back in the... That does not really... That was back in the Matt Lauer and I forgot... Uh, was it Matt and... Not Savannah. Savannah Guthrie. Not Savannah, but um, it was Matt and Katie. Curry. Katie, yeah, Katie Curry. Back in yeah. those days. Um, that was back when Howard Fink... You know, that was when Howard Finkel was doing the, the, the WWE right. stuff. And it was like... He, he never jumped to WCW or... And did, you know... He didn't go from promotion to promotion and do ring announcing. He was loyal to the WWE. Oh. Or WWF or WWWF. Oh, you mean the World um, Women's Wrestling Federation? 
no, no, World Wide Wrestling oh. Federation. See, it started out as the World Wide Wrestling Federation. Then it became the World Wrestling Federation. Then PETA got involved, and the World Wildlife Fund got involved through a temper yeah. tantrum. And, uh, and then it became World Wrestling Entertainment. <sighs> and throughout all of that, Howard Finkel still remained loyal to them and did not uh, do any type of, like, defecting or anything like that. Um, so, you know, you got to commend that. I mean, he stayed loyal to the people that gave him a job, and he was loyal to what they did, you know, needed him to do. And he also worked behind the scenes, as well as being the ring announcer. He also, I think, he uh, actually came up with the name WrestleMania. Did you know he that? He came up with the WrestleMania name? Yes, they were going to call it uh, the Big Tussle. But then Howard Finkel came up with the name WrestleMania. I think the name kind of stuck. You know, stuck. like Beatlemania. Yeah, kind of stuck, yeah. Yes, it did, and mm-hmm. it did. But see, it makes more sense. Yeah. I mean, who's going to buy a thing called the Big Tussle? You know, it, it just don't it don't have that, that same That kind of reminds to me it. of another cultural icon whose name stuck. But this was, okay, mm-hmm. I don't want to get into Christmas here, but this is really interesting and important facts because... There was a guy from Montgomery Ward who had written a children's book about a reindeer in order to sell his furniture. Yep. And yep. The Rudolph right. the Red-Nosed but Reindeer. It, I know original, all about that. I know yeah, all about that. Yeah, I know, but he, 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 for the listeners, I want to say his name could have been Reginald, but that didn't sound good. Yeah. But, no. I know, right? <laughs> I know, and they went with Rudolph, but the point is, the same thing here with WrestleMania. Right. You know, who's going to buy the Big Tussle 37? Like, who's going to buy a Reginald the Red Nose Reindeer book? That's I know. Kind of weird. Like, I know, right? There are just names I know. that stick. But, it, oh, even here's another one. The founders of Google. When they yes, misspelled um, Google, they didn't realize how popular it would become. Oh, no. <laughs> I know. Oh, Lord. But, okay, back right? to Howard Finkel. Uh, he was really close to the McMahon Ooh. family. Um, who ran the WWE, who uh-huh. runs WWE. Um, I know, I remember uh, when me and Gene Okerlund, um, you know, he, he, I always got him and Howard confused because hmm. they both had bald heads. Cool. And oh, um, with uh, Howard, you see, he got inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2005. Wow. And if you haven't got a chance, to, for all the listeners out there, <coughs> if you haven't got a chance to listen or to watch or listen to that uh, Hall of Fame induction, look it up on YouTube because, you know, it's a part of wrestling history. It's a part of, you know, WWE history now since uh, Howard Finkel is no longer with us. Mm. And, uh, you know, I watched the WWE tribute that they did for him. Very touching and moving. And the one thing he would do at WrestleMania is uh, starting in 2004 was he would announce the Hall of Famers that got inducted the night before WrestleMania. Cool. And he did this up through 2016. Now that's amazing. And, you know, I'll be honest, I've never really watched... I think the last time I ever watched a wrestling thing was <clears throat> way back when... I don't even remember what wrestling... I don't know what my parents were watching, but it wouldn't have surprised me if they did watch mm-hmm. wrestling because we watched a lot of sports in the house. It was football, basketball. It was NASCAR, football, basketball. Oh, God. Ooh. I can tell you t- stories wrestling, of this. You know. I, I would but, not be surprised yeah, if they watched pro wrestling. wrestling. I watch pro wrestling with the fervor of religion. I still do to this day, depending on what brand it is. Ooh. But the point here is Howard Finkel. We're celebrating his career, his legacy, and remembering his uh, contributions mm-hmm. to the world of pro wrestling. Mm-hmm. I know, it, you know... And in, uh, I think it was 1995 and 1999, he competed in a tuxedo match with Harvey Whippleman in 1995. Yes. And then in a tuxedo, uh, an evening gown match, I forget who it was, but he has competed uh, two times in the ring. So he has got to experience in-ring competition in that form of a manner. So that was actually pretty cool. And it was very, very um, interesting, to say the least. Mm. You know, but one thing that I remember about Howard Finkel, <clears throat> Howard Finkel is 
his loyalty to the McMahons and to the WWE. That, that's hard to find you know, you didn't these hear... days. It's like, oh, it's I know. Like I'm glad he was oh, loyal to the I McMahons mean... and the WWE because it's like, like in Japan, they always have a lot of workers who say, oh, I'm a Toyota man. I'm a Nissan man. And they're loyal to the company mm-hmm. to oh, the yeah. end. That oh, they boy. work for. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. You know, just like I know some gamers that are like that, too. Like me, for instance, I'm a PlayStation guy. I used to be a Nintendo fan, but then when I got uh-huh. into PlayStation, that's what I'm going to stick with, you know, until I hit the dirt. But, you know, the point is he was loyal to the people that uh-huh. gave him a job. You know, you didn't turn on WCW uh, Monday Nitro and hear Howard Finkel's voice. Um, you wouldn't hear turn on ECW and hear Howard Finkel's voice, uh-huh. you know. It, it just wouldn't have nah. been the same. I mean, yeah. it wouldn't have been the same. He was synonymous at, with the WWF, and he was synonymous with WWE when they changed their name. And I'm going to be very honest with you. I wish that, um, you know, I'm glad that he has this legacy to uh, that's been uh, niched because now you can go back on the WWE Network. Mm-hmm. And anybody who's listening to this or who will listen to this in the future – on Spotify or wherever you consume podcasts, um, definitely go and give his body of work a listen or a watch because he has this amazing voice. And you go and you listen to that and and you uh, do that, you pretty much know um, what you're getting. I mean, you're getting a passionate ring announcer you're getting a ring announcer that actually has a good broadcasting voice, so it sounds very, very clear and crisp. Mm-hmm. And you're getting just the the absolute best, I would put it. Um, I don't think know. there's anybody who can replace Howard Finkel. Sorry, nobody can. Oh no! Now, now Gary Michael Capetta, he he could have. <clears throat> actually, he actually um. Worked for the WWF, I think, back in the 70s before Howard Finkel mm. even started there. So Gary and Michael Capetta actually worked for WWF, mm. WWF, back in the day. So, you know, I think he may have uh, been the ring announcer for them. But, you know, the, when that got Howard, it just kind of stuck. And then Gary Capetta went on to, EC, to, to WCW. Uh, I almost misplaced him. And, uh, you know. But it's just like it just if he would have went to WCW or ECW or even uh, Impact today, you know, or it was Total Nonstop Action back in the early two thousands when they started, mm-hmm. um, it wouldn't have fit. It would have been out of place. Yeah, it would have been so yeah. out of place and so, um, like what? This isn't right because to me, I think WWE. I think Howard Finkel. Oh. You know, he and they you won't you know what his I nickname don't was, don't what you? His nickname was. Oh, that makes the sense. The Fink. Yeah, Howard the Fink. Yeah, Fink. the Fink or the Finkster. Yep, or yeah, Hulk Hogan would call him the Finkster. Oh God, it was great. You know. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, you know, <clears throat> me and Gene Okerlund. You know, when he when you know when when he died, I was like, oh crap, and then. He died early last year, and then we lose Howard Finkel mm. this year. Just boom, boom, yeah. you know, back to back. It's like Howard Finkel is gone, and then we have, uh, you know, who? I mean, now who's going to announce the Hall of Fame induction whenever they br- bring them back? And who's going to have that booming, uh, when, unmistakable, bombastic Yeah, that bombastic voice. I know. Voice. Uh, hey, He's going to be want harder. to introduce me for a little bit? Because I don't think anybody knows me. Uh, yeah, this is Denver Queen. Uh, she is mm-hmm. my guest tonight for the podcast. Uh, she's the one yeah. that's talking. And if you want, you can check out her podcast, The Throne Room, which um, I might be on. I may be uh, getting Tim point. on my podcast. And I want to talk a little bit about me and what The Throne Room is going to be about. I'm actually going to reboot the podcast this week. And I'm also going to be talking about what's happened since the last episode of the podcast. If you would like to leave a voicemail for either Tim or myself. Sorry, I forgot. Yeah, Blind right. Metal Gamer. Blind. We don't know who Tim is. We okay, don't know who he is. should I just say Blind Metal Gamer? 
if you want to leave a voicemail for a yeah. blind metal gamer or myself, Denver Queen, please pop one into the voicemails thingy in Anchor. Please leave yes. us voicemails. We would love to hear from you, either one of us on our podcast. And I'm so sorry I messed up. I did not. Oh, yes. I, I keep. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so sorry. Hey, you're not the Denver I'm sure Queen. You're not, I'm not the, the only, only one, one that's Don't messed worry. up. I've I've mm-hmm. I've had uh, mm-hmm. people like I would be streaming on Twitch and the lady that was mm-hmm. doing commentary with me uh, kind of blurted did that oh. today. I'm like, I was like, okay, no, <laughs> um, you know, no big deal, you I know. Totally but anyway, but anyway, back yeah. back to the topic at hand. Uh, Howard Finkel. He's not going to be replaced. Nobody's going to be able to replace no. him. Just like Mean Gene Oakland. Nobody's going to be able to Steve, replace it, Mean I Gene. Stone Cold Steve Austin did a tribute, too. You know who? Uh, I'll have to. Oh, on the Broken Skull mm-hmm. Sessions? I'll yeah, because I was, I was just out. doing a random search he, for he, Howard Finkel on the internet. And I found that. Because uh, when Stone, mm-hmm. Cold, Stone Cold Steve. You can't find anybody Austin. else like Stone Cold Steve. I'm sorry, but nobody can. Re- it's Stone Cold Steve Austin, Stone not Cold Stone Cold Steve. Steve. <laughs> that might that might bring okay, up something. Okay, but seriously, else. you can't replace any of these guys. No, no, you can't replace Stone Cold Steve Austin. You can't replace The Rock. You can't replace Hulk Hogan. <laughs> you know, I, oh, but God, Hulk Hogan is oh, no. sixty some years I old. Thought he was but a my lot God, younger than that. I'm sorry. Like, no, he's in his sixties. But like Nikita Ooh. Koloff, you know. You can't replace the Russian Nightmare, man. Nikita That's a Koloff? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. He was a pro wrestler before he became oh. a minister. And, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'm not knocking no, Nikita. Not. No, this mm-hmm. isn't what this is about. This is about Howard mm-hmm. Finkel, the Fink. Um, you know, it, it, no one's going to be able to replace okay. him because... He's just that voice and it, that it's, epic. It's the, that, there are um, so many irreplaceables that have gone in the last three years. I know. I've been alive on this planet. Now that mm, Howard yeah. Franklin is gone, you know, uh, we Gene Oakland, you, Gorilla Monsoon. If you ever go back and watch some of the old eighties uh, WWF with Gorilla Monsoon and Ooh. Bobby Heenan, if you listen to their commentary and listen to what Ooh. they do. They're not going to be it. Like none of these modern announced teams can no. can replicate that. They no. cannot be replicated. But uh, Howard Finkel will not be able to be replicated. I'm afraid not. Um, and I honestly would you know, not want to be replicated either. No. So, no. No, that would suck because <laughs> you're the only one. So I'm going to go on and mm-hmm. end it with this. This has been dedicated to the memory of Howard Finkel, 1950 to 2020. Um, I do want to send my condolences out to his family and to those who knew him professionally and personally and to everybody out there in podcast land. I want to say thank you for inviting me into your homes via no matter what device you're listening on, PC, Apple, Android, whatever it may be. Thank you for inviting Denver Queen and I into your home for this great episode in memory of Howard Finkel. May you rest in peace, Howard the Fink, and uh, your legacy will live forever. So long, everyone. Until next time, in the next episode, we will get that Nintendo 64 episode out there. I promise you. And then I have something special uh, cooking up for the beginning of May and something special for the end of May, which I will elaborate on at the Mm -hmm. close of times. So, Denver Queen, do you have any closing remarks for today's show? Actually, I'm... uh... I'm very happy that Blind Metal Gamer himself invited me onto his podcast. Thank you so much. I also would like to no problem. Uh, say that, mm. yes, I will be rebooting my podcast. So you might get weird people, guests, and just myself. Uh, listen, I'm going to try listening to this little episode when it gets published. On my, I've got Apple Podcasts. I've got Spotify. I've got... yes. It will be published, just so everybody knows. I had to cut okay. you off, Denver Queen. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, it will be published on April 26, which is a week from tomorrow, which is a week from today. So tonight's episode at 8 o'clock will be about the dual sense. It's just going to be me. But this will be airing next week, so be sure to tune in for that. And uh, mm-hmm. Denver Queen, uh, do you yeah, want to continue sure. with Thanks your remarks? Yeah, sure. Thanks for uh, clarifying. Um, 
And again, you guys can check out my podcast called The Throne Room with Beth, uh, Throne Room with Denver Queen. Sorry, I messed up my name too. <laughs> So as much as Denver Queen is three <laughs> syllables, my own name is only one syllable. That's kind of the problem. We both have names with a syllable, but three, four syllables, God. Mm-hmm. Sometimes that could be a mouthful, but whatever. Uh, rest in peace uh, to those pro wrestlers that have died over the last two years. I don't personally watch this kind of thing, but I do find it very, very... I, I find it sad when someone dies. Just remember, you know, if, if oh, yeah. you are a pro wrestling fan... Just pause a moment and think about the Fink and other, yeah. How, yeah, think about the Fink and other uh, legends yes. of the business who have died. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I'll go on and kind of take it home with this. Howard Fink will rest in peace. Your legacy will mm-hmm. live on forever. And for everyone who is listening, I want to say thank you. And I will see you guys <clears throat> in the next episode. And so then, for Denver Queen, this is Blind Metal Gamer saying so long, everyone. Good night. And good night.